Hey guys, so today I am on my way to Chicago to go to the OCD conference. I am going to be vlogging all of my days at the OCD conference. It should total three, but this one is my travel day, and I'm gonna make it to Chicago today. So I figured I would vlog now to you to get some practice. Um, and yeah, let's try to let's try to daily vlog. Let's see how this works out. We are entering the airport at the moment. We're down to getting a ticket, and we're gonna go park. Bye. Hey guys, so I made it to Chicago and it's really scary because <laughs> I always forget how much big cities like are overwhelming until I get there and I think I said this in my vlog about the OCD walk too, but like Atlanta was scary, but this place is bigger than Atlanta and the lighting is weird because this hotel room is very weird, very small for the price it was, pretty surprising. But we, to be fair, we're not in the hotel that the conference is at, which looked a lot nicer than this one. But anyway, we're here at Chicago. So on the plane, I wanted to say this on the plane, but then I was really tired and just slept instead. Um, on the plane ride over, the plane was delayed for a lot of time. So I missed the support group for the young adults tonight. However, it was, I mean, it wasn't that much later, probably like an hour later than we expected. And I didn't even realize this, but like Chicago is a whole nother time zone away from the east of the United States, which is where I've never left and where I've always been so it's pretty exciting to be in a new time zone be in a new place and I am excited to spend the next three days in Chicago although hopefully it'll be in the safety of the Marriott Hotel and not on the scary big overwhelming streets um, <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go charge my batteries and I will see you guys tomorrow where hopefully the city will be a lot more prettier and I can take some prettier shots bye Okay guys, are you ready? It's 7.40, we're about to head down to the conference, and I was right, everything does look a lot prettier today. <laughs> but anyway, let's, let's get started, I guess. Gonna walk down to the hotel. It's way too early to be awake right now. sessions and now we're having dinner here. It's an Armenian restaurant. I like it except I haven't been feeling well today. Like since lunch I haven't been feeling well. So I'm really just having rice. Um, but I'll take the rest to go. And later tomorrow. Hi guys. So as you may have noticed there hasn't been much daily vlogging in this daily vlog. Um, that's because I'm still kind of uncomfortable 
with vlogging in public and I'm trying to do it more like I did it at the restaurants a few times um but like it's scary to me to vlog in front of all of those people and in that huge crowd within the conference um but I would like to get at least some shots of it and I'm gonna try harder tomorrow to do that so let me tell you about my day so first I want to start with yesterday because I forgot to talk to you guys about it yesterday so when we were sitting in the airport we were just waiting we actually thought we were late which is why I didn't vlog me getting this um, boho bandana thing which can have like all different styles which I think is cool um, I was like really excited about it because you know I wear scarves and whatnot so we were there we were thinking we we're gonna be late and then the plane guys were like well, we can't leave because Chicago's all like storming and stuff. And we're like, okay. Uh, and then they said that because of the storms and stuff, the plane's gonna need more fuel. And because of the fuel, seven people can't come on the flight. <sighs> so we were kind of like waiting because we did not know if people were going to on here if we'd even be able to leave once we heard this news I got like pretty anxious and I was doing a lot of rituals like repeating rituals because I like be closing my backpack and thinking like if I don't close it the right way then I'll never I won't leave and I won't get to go to the conference so it was kind of stuff like that where just repeating physical actions and I hate to say it but I did submit to those rituals it was very tough at the time but in the end it was only a one hour delay so this morning I went to my first session at like eight o'clock but I met um, Bowen who runs ocdacceptance.com it's a nonprofit organization and they do a lot of great stuff to help people accept OCD um, also before that happened actually I was sitting in line waiting to register well standing in line they did not have chairs waiting for us although that would have been nice it was a long line uh, <laughs> And then all of a sudden someone taps me on the shoulder and what do you know, it's my former psychiatrist. So I think this is the time to tell you guys about, do a little recovery vlog. This past week I've been on vacation, on vacation in um, Rhode Island. Um, and you may have heard of my last recovery vlog that I was going there and I was nervous about it. So I went there and I went to my old hospital and I did see all my old therapists, which is really exciting. Then I also saw my former psychiatrist. How is my dad sleeping when I'm talking like this? He's literally like sleeping next to me. Well anyway, I saw my old psychiatrist and I like immediately hugged him because the excitement totally overrided the anxiety in that moment so that was my exposure um, a few days ago and now I have this new one where he just pops up behind me I think he just said hi actually but he just surprised me um, wasn't expecting it at all and my dad comes up behind him and he was like oh wait I saw him at the coffee table I was like, okay and he told me that my dad actually set that up set that exposure up so thanks dad also while I was waiting in line my old psychiatrist was like I have this image of you walking around with your groupies and um, sure enough while I was talking to him later in the day like a bunch of people came up to me and started like talking to me about my videos which thanks for that I love seeing meeting all of you guys that I met today so much it's like something that I don't know if I'll ever get used to but it's really fun it's just it's just really fun to meet people who've seen my videos it's like well people are actually watching <laughs> The next thing I did was I went out for lunch, as you guys saw. I went to this place called Life. It was yummy, but while I was eating, my stomach started to hurt. I started to feel nauseous, which of course kicks my OCD up um, because when I feel nauseous already, I start getting like obsessions about being nauseous. And then I just feel all around nauseous and not good. And I want to do rituals just because I don't want to have that feeling. <sighs> so yeah since that moment i started feeling a lot more sick at the conference yesterday i felt like i was developing a cold quite a bit um and the day before as well so i wasn't surprised when i woke up with a stuffing nose and i sounded very nasally but this was kind of a surprise i really think it was just my digestive system acting up again like it does sometimes so i think i ate something that made it upset i did get to talk to someone very exciting which actually this was before gaining balance wasn't it i don't know but i met kate today <laughs> Everything's just like meshing together. It was just a lot of fun. Um, but I met Kate from um, her Twitter handle is at mommy has OCD. I'm not entirely sure of her blog name. I think it might be mommy has OCD, but I'm afraid I'm gonna get it wrong. So I'm just gonna put it up on the screen. She was really sweet and nice. I'm so glad I got to meet her. We shared about our recovery journals together, and I love how she laid hers out. I might have to steal some of her ideas in my future recovery journals. And then we both we both went to the same group. We went to the Scrupulosity Answer Guys. The last thing I did. Oh wait, first I went to dinner. We went to dinner at this Armenian restaurant. You might have seen me tweeting about it and it's probably in the vlog. And it was good, but I still wasn't feeling well. So I actually didn't eat much. I just had rice, but the rice was good. So that's good, right? And then after that, I went back and there was like hardly anyone around. 
the exhibits, which was different, and um, probably would have been a good time to vlog, but I didn't, because I didn't feel good. <laughs> um, but then I went to the support group for people with sexual and or violent obsessions, and that was amazing, because I'd never been in a room with people all talking about sexual or violent obsessions before. I'd never met anyone in person who had sexual obsessions and admitted it before, so it was really wonderful to see that in real life. That was just amazing. Also, during sometime during the day, I went to the OCD and Anxiety Treatment Center um, exhibit. I got their beautiful wristband that says Live Uncertain and Stronger Than OCD, and I love that, Live Uncertain. Um, and I talked to someone who actually watched my videos, um, whose name's Nate or Nathan, and he works there. If you guys need help with OCD, you should check them out. And yeah, that's all I did today. I'm excited about tomorrow. Um, the day, I told my dad to wake me up at 8 a.m., but my Day doesn't start until 9.45, so if I wake up at 8 a.m., I'll just have a lot of time to like eat breakfast and walk around and talk to people, which has actually been probably my favorite part about the conference, is just like walking around and talking to people and having so many people around and just being able to like talk about OCD freely and nobody looks at you like you're a weirdo. And like nobody's like, why are we talking about this? Why are we talking about mental health? Who cares? They're like, they care, and I care, and we just talk about something that we're very passionate about and that a lot of us have experience with, and it's wonderful. And I hope I get to talk to more people tomorrow, see more people who've seen my videos tomorrow. That would be amazing and cool. Um, but I'm honestly, I'm satisfied with everyone who's already seen it. Like, it's just amazing. No matter how many people come up to me, it's wonderful. Um, I think I lost count already today, though. I mean, it was just, it's like mind-blowing that even people are watching my videos. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all later. I'll keep you updated. Goodbye. Saluting. But we're gonna do that now. Okay.